Doug Yee. I'm the director of the Masonic Cancer Center, and I want to wish you the happiest holiday season, and that's what this greeting is about. Uh, today, for those of you not in Minnesota, it's one of those beautiful Minnesota days. It's about 20 degrees. It snowed like crazy last week, so it really is a winter wonderland here. Uh, I think there are three things I'd like to talk to you about today, and you know that the mission of the Masonic Cancer Center is to decrease the burden of cancer. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is our newest initiative in uh, cell, gene, and immunotherapy. You may know that the Masonic Cancer Center has been founded on the use of cellular therapy, particularly around bone marrow transplant, and the idea that donor cells may actually increase uh, survivability of cancers and also mount an effective therapy against tumors. That concept has been expanded with an initiative we call the Institute Cell Gene and Immunotherapy here at the university. Uh, Dr. John Wagner, who is Associate Director of Clinical Research and co-leader of the uh, Transplant Therapy and Biology Program, is leading this effort. Uh, and the idea is to take the advances we've learned in cancer, uh, make them applicable to many types of tumors, as well as some non-cancer conditions. So that's an exciting new initiative over the next year. Uh, we'll see how we can bring new cellular immunotherapies to the treatment of many types of cancer. The second thing I'd like to talk about is kind of on the opposite end of reducing cancer's burden, and that's to involve more patients within clinical trials. I think you also may know that uh, patients far from uh, cancer centers or metropolitan areas have poor access to cancer clinical trials. So with the help of our state legislature, we've created the Minnesota Cancer Clinical Trials Network with our partners of investigators throughout the state. We are collaborating with three uh, national community oncology research programs, uh, Minnesota Metro, Duluth, uh, Essentia, as well as the Sanford system. Uh, we're also collaborating with the Mayo Clinic Cancer Center and Fairview Health Systems to create a statewide network where patients who previously did not have access to cancer clinical trials can now have access. Rural cancer health disparities is an important problem to address, and by increasing the access throughout our state, we hope to also decrease cancer burden uh, through this new initiative. The third thing I'd like to talk about is something that's new and uh, increasing uh, importance in the cancer world, and that's the number of cancer survivors. There are now estimated to be about 15 million people who have survived cancer. That's great news. At the same time, we also understand that people who have treated for cancer, both adults and children, have long-term health consequences. To that end, we've appointed Dr. Ann Blaze as Director of Cancer Survivorship to really spearhead our initiatives to understand how we can best manage the outcomes for the patients who have survived cancer and reduce the chance of them having any long-term complications uh, from their treatment. Um, so, with those uh, messages, I want to wish you the warmest and probably literally physically warmest uh, holiday season, uh, and really thank you again for supporting the Masonic Cancer Center.